What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Dale Entertainment. It's the Dale for Beyonce's two new tracks, 16 Carriages and Texas Hold'em. Where she's from, Texas. Now, I just saw this on Twitter. I see that there's a visualizer as well. Then Beyonce gave an album announcement March 29th, just right around the corner. That is just so crazy. Another thing that's crazy is Taylor Swift is coming out with an album on April, which means that next year for the Grammys, both of them are going to be up, most likely for album of the year. It seemed like it might be like a rematch. I don't know. We all know that Taylor Swift has won over Beyonce before. So maybe this is like the get back. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because with these two songs, she's going country. That's why I heard. She's like, okay, maybe I'll go to your field. Maybe I win an album of the year that way. Because just like Jay-Z said, she has the most awards. And yet she doesn't have an album of the year. Like, that's crazy. Even by your own metric, like... It still doesn't make sense. I don't know. I'm thinking way too ahead on that. But I like Taylor. I like her music. Anyways, just like I said before, these two tracks are country is what I heard. I heard they're like real Southern Texas country, um, like George Strait type. But I also heard they're really good, which I can't complain. I don't think Beyonce has done country. I did a whole entire Beyonce season. If y'all want to go check that out, check that out. But yeah, let's not waste any time. Before we get to reaction to this video, like, subscribe to the channel. We're first going to start off with 16 Carriages. And this is the visualizer. I'm excited, man. Oh, man, that's so fire. Gosh, her voice is so good. Oh, this is fire. This is fire. That was fire. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is good. I like this. I like this. This is good. Hold on. <laughs> I know I paused it. Yo, adding such great vocals like hers to this genre. And because it's Beyonce with her type of star power, her resources, like, come on, man, come on, come on. It's been umpteen summers and I'm not in my bed on the back of the bus in a bunk with the band. Going so hard, gotta choose myself. Underpaid and overwhelmed. Teen carriages driving away. That's so good. That's so good. So good. Like her runs is so man, she's experienced. She's the queen for a reason. What? All right, that was 16 carriages. Wow, that was amazing. That was amazing. I'm glad I started out with that track because it feels like an intro, like an intro to an album or Renaissance 2 or Act 2, sorry. And it feels like a track to get you ready to her entering this genre. It feels like with this track, it's very accessible. It's meant to bring a new audience, her audience into this genre if you haven't listened to the genre before. There's something that's accessible. I really enjoy this track. I really, really do. It's so good. Her vocals are just amazing. Her control is just amazing. Like she, you could tell she takes care of her voice. Like just not one slip up, man. It's so good. Also like the themes and topics that country music usually talks about, um, working all day, working hard, being tired, going back to your family, all about family, God. These are themes that are pretty common in country music. Now, Texas Hold'em, that is something I heard good things about. And I'm very excited to listen to it. Let's go listen to that. Oh, what the? Keys up. Hey. Stick around, round, 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 round. Stick around. And 
This is good, man. All right, that was Texas Hold'em. Yeah, I'm happy I listened to 16 Carriages first, then this track. Because 16 Carriages welcomed me, opened the door, and it's like, this is country, yo. And then I got Texas Hold'em. That was amazing, yo. I felt like dancing. I felt like getting a cowboy hat, getting a big-ass belt buckle, some cowboy shoes. But that was great. That was so, so freaking good, man. Everything is authentic. It just felt like it's, it was made with love and care. It also felt so fun. It felt so fun. So this album's going to be country. This album is going to be country. Maybe it's different genres that Beyonce hasn't tackled herself. Maybe that's what Renaissance is. You know, with Renaissance 1, which I did a reaction for. Check it out if you haven't. And this album now being more country. Maybe what she says, Renaissance, maybe it's like an updated modern version of these genres of country and house music maybe i don't know maybe that's what it is maybe just her take on it her spin on it i find it interesting that she's doing country but she is from texas and a lot of texans listen to country or have listened to country when they were younger the george Straits, the johnny cash the dolly partons and so forth but i'm very very excited for this i'm very excited for this i know this is gonna sound weird but just hang with me like come back to this video i think next year beyonce will win album of the year for renaissance 2. i have a feeling just like i mentioned before with taylor swift and beyonce now going at each other because they're both releasing an album just a month apart i believe and i think because beyonce lost the last one I think her going country, I think with that in mind, I think Beyonce is going to win. I only say that also because she's a Virgo. My moon is in Virgo and it's known to be petty and Virgo is going to be petty. Like Kobe Bryant was petty. Michael Jordan was petty. Like I think there's also her kind of being petty. I right, I'm not winning out of the year because you keep taking them. I bet. You know what? We'll make an album all country and that's winning album of the year. I don't know. I don't know. I I gotta stop being messy, yo. This is what happens. My bad. I like Taylor Swift, man. I like Taylor Swift. I like her music. I think she's a good artist, man. But it's just Beyonce is Beyonce. She deserves to win an album of the year. Like Lemonade not winning it, it's crazy. Anyway, that's my reaction for both 16 Carriages and Texas Hold'em. Really enjoyed them. They were great. I appreciate y'all stick with me. I'm kind of under the weather, but I was still able to enjoy the music, man. It was really good. Let me know y'all thoughts on those two tracks down in the comments below. And let me know if you don't listen to country, is this helping you introduce the country? Will you be like, hell, it's Beyonce. I'm going to listen to this, even if it's country. And if you already listened to country before, are you excited for this? Are you excited for Beyonce's take on country music? Do you like these two songs? Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to the channel. Thank you all for watching. Muchas bendiciones. Peace.